I'm a badass belt. I'm the one on Facebook when everybody asks what the best belt is. They say, you should go get one of these. Because I'm badass. But are you the world's best? You gonna learn today. You know how this goes. Um, I subject myself to some pretty ridiculous self-inflicted torture to blow this belt. To, Nats. To blow this belt and figure out is this belt really as good as the masses claim it to be. We did this before. Um, we tested the OEM belt on this little stretch of trail which continuously failed uh, at about a half a lap. <laughs> Doesn't seem to last very long. Um, then we tested the original G-Boost belt um, from Evo, or through Evo. And that one lasted two and a half laps. Pretty good, pretty good. It broke. Two and a half laps. Oh. I want to thank our sponsors for this video, uh, Full Throttle Off Road. For purchasing this knowing that we were going to blow this up um, so thank you full throttle off road for uh, hooking us up with this belt because um, it's not going to make it through the day and uh hopefully we do yeah <laughs> um i asked chris worth who we purchased this from he thinks it's going to get 15 laps 15 15 laps hmm. place your bets below what do you think this is going to get to before it blows. Because I'm gonna blow this belt. This video is gonna end in a blown belt. Let's get that through your head. This is not an indestructible unit, but we wanna find out just how much better it is. We went straight to G Boost and said, whose belt is this? Um, this is a G Boost belt, but they specifically told me, the guys at G Boost said, make sure you thank Evolution Power Sports because they were crucial to the development of this belt. This belt would not exist if it was not for Evolution Power Sports. That was said directly from G-Boost. This isn't fanfare. This isn't whatever you want to call it. It's from G-Boost. This belt wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Evolution Power Sports. Thank you Evolution Power Sports. For all that you've done in, in helping the development of this belt. Yeah, let me just... um, I'm thanking you before I ruin it. Yeah. So I suppose maybe we should test it before we give it any props. Um, and you got any guesses on how long you think it's going to take me to blow that belt up? I'm just wondering if you're going to blow this up before you hit a tree. <laughs> What's just going to come first? Post your comments below. Will Aaron hit a tree first or will the belt blow? I mean, hopefully you're going slow when you if you hit a tree, but... Yeah, I'm Statistics thinking. Show. No. I'm thinking it's gonna be know. five laps, five to six laps. If it makes it ten laps, I will be absolutely shocked. What do you think? Eight. You think it'll go eight laps? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's a way different compound. It's softer. It actually feels a lot different. So yeah. one of the one of the good things about this belt, um, the other belt, the original G Boost badass belt, um, was a very hard compound, which could sometimes change the way your clutches would shift. Uh, so it could cause like an overshift where it would suck the belt into the secondary kind of like you were starting out in second gear uh, You could drop to 300 rpm off the off the line This belt is supposed to mimic OEM shifting patterns, so it's supposed to fix that um, So I'll definitely give you some feedback um, After I run with it 
So have I rambled enough? A lot. Yeah? Very lot. Okay, so I know everyone, if you're actually at this part in the video, thank you, like, subscribe, notifications, all that, because I'm pretty sure the vast majority of you have already skipped ahead to see the results of this. So I just want to say thank you to the people who actually watch the content. You guys freaking rock. Sweet. Well, let's, hey. get, let's get to ripping. I got to throw this on my car. Um, this belt is already broken in, so you don't got to worry about that. Um, we're just going to get in there and pop it. Like it's hot. Like it's hot. <laughs> All right, let's go. Could you even compare the two right now? That one's got a lot of time on it. But. This one's got a couple hundred miles on it already, but even... This one is even with all the miles on it and the heat that's in it, it's still firmer than this one. Hmm. Cool. Man, I might be out here all day trying to blow this stupid thing. Yep, hope you brought enough E85. Ready to rip, guys. Place your bets. Place your bets. We got uh, a little bit of operating temperature in the belt, so she's not super cold. You can see. It's a nice, comfortable 130 degrees. No shenanigans, no tricks. Let's see what she's got. Oh, just in 180. I'm 
I'm almost out of gas. Lights on. One bar. What the hell? So far, big dozer thumb up. Wait, like this. Okay, but we'll see how many he gets. Beef stick. Yeah, dude. You got any final words, though? 
nostalgic because if not, we'll see you guys on the next one. Like, subscribe, turn your notifications on. If you want this belt, go to Full Throttle Off Road Video to our store. Hit the geyser section, that's where it'll be. I burned through an entire tank of gas, wide open throttle, and it never broke 190 degrees. Crazy. That is amazing. Yeah. Go cool. Well, hey, do you actually want to do some riding today? Or yeah, do you just want to hang out and watch me drive around for a little longer? I want to hang out and watch you drive around a little bit longer. Okay. Well, hold on then. <laughs> Bye.